Yeah! Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your Old Nerd of the day, and I try things so you don't have to. Today is a fan box unboxing. If it's a little loud in here, it's because I got the air conditioner on. It's been really humid here lately. All right, old guy goggles. And the note reads, Dear Tony, we are huge fans. We don't have a 7-Eleven in Vermont, so we're not able to try some of your favorite convenience store treats. So we thought we would send you some of our favorites from our regional convenience store, Cumberland Farms. We think Cumberland Farms is great. We saw that you enjoyed that key lime soda. Maybe you will enjoy those key lime cookies. Like 7-Eleven, Cumberland Farms, or Cumbies as us locals like to call it, have their own line of snacks, ranging from candy to trail mix, potato chips to baked goods. They also are have, at the bigger locations, made-to-order food like pizzas, sandwiches, and hot dogs. Sounds very much like 7-Eleven. And like 7-Eleven, they're all 24 hours. So please enjoy the sampling of snacks from the East Coast, and don't worry, <laughs> nothing spicy in the box. Thank you very much. And it's signed... Your biggest fans in Vermont, Amy McClure and Asher Ellis. Oh, there's a PS. We have included a promo postcard magnet and business card for Asher's debut novel, The Remedy, in case you or anyone in your family is a fan of horror fiction. All right, so let's see what is in the box. Okay, first of all, we have Cumberland Farms baked pizza flavored cheese curls. And they say they're made with real cheese. Let's break into the bag. Not really cheesy smelling. Very orange though. Looks like a big Cheetos puff. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. These are exceptional. Really good. These have a very different flavor from Cheetos. Uh, these have more of a sharp cheese flavor to them. A um, little bit of seasoning too. Uh, maybe a, a little oregano. Not really good on my seasoning, but I think that's what I'm what I'm tasting here. If you look real close, you can definitely see that seasoning on there. Wow, this is good. And this is a 1.5 ounce bag for 79 cents. Okay, next in the box is a 3 ounce bag of Farmhouse Premium Chocolate Treats Outrageous Chocolate Praline Peanuts. Mmm, these smell chocolatey. And there is what one of those look like. And these are jumbo peanuts wrapped in crunchy butter toffee dipped in creamy milk chocolate and dusted with powdered sugar. Let's give it a shot. So the powdered sugar is real nice. It's it's not so much that it kind of takes your breath away the way something over sugar does. I don't really care for toffee, uh, mainly because it, it I, I well I don't like the flavor that much of toffee. But also I haven't got the best of teeth anymore. They're getting old, and so this is really hard to bite into. I mean once you bite around the top itself and just get to the nut and the chocolate and the uh, the powdered sugar it's really good it's 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 pretty good it's nothing I would get again and it's only because of the toffee okay next we have farmhouse bakery premium cookie bites these are luscious key lime cookies tantalizingly tangy deliciously sweet and bursting with fresh key lime flavor this is a 2.5 ounce bag. Hmm, these smell lemony. Um, lemony, but key lime. So yeah, that, that fits. Guy, I love the smell of them. And there's what they look like, little teeny cookies. Let's give it a shot. Oh gosh, these are really wonderful. The key lime flavor just is so prominent on these things. The cookie, is not overly crunchy. It's it's kind of like a cross between a shortbread uh, crunchiness and a ginger snap crunchiness, kind of in between those two. But the star of the show is the key lime. 
This is really, really good. Okay, and finally we have Farmhouse Bakery Ultimate Peanut Butter Crispy Bar with Rice Chocolate Topping. This bar is five ounces. Okay, at first I thought it was gonna be like a Rice Crispy Bar. I thought that's what I saw through the packaging, but I'm not sure now. Here, you take a look and you tell me. See? You can really smell that peanut butter. Let's give it a shot. It's not overly chocolatey, which I like because I'm not a big chocolate fan and anything that's over chocolatey I tend not to really care for. It is their take on a Rice Krispie bar, I do believe, but it is a take on it. Um, this is not like a regular Rice Krispie bar. It's very dense. Um, not dense as far as biting into it. it it's, it's pretty soft. As, as far as a crispy bar would go, but the, it's just compact. It's very densely put together. And I like this too. The, the crispy bar is the thing that stands out. The chocolate and the peanut butter is just kind of a minor background player, but it is there and it makes for a tasty treat. All right, so in my mind, the winners of this box is a toss up between the cheese curls and the key lime cookies. I can't decide. These are both really, really good. I really enjoyed these. So obviously Cumberland Farms has some good stuff. They can definitely hold their own. So thank you very much, Amy and Asher, for sending this. This was a real treat, a box of treats to be exact. And there's the postcard of Asher's book. It's called The Remedy. And it says, the remedy is the cure for the trite, too familiar trappings infecting the horror genre. Uh, everything a story could possibly need and you're not going to find a book that executes those needs any better. This is a couple recommendations from a couple different people. Uh, Hell Notes and Brian Keene, best-selling author of Ghoul and the Rising. And it says, now available wherever ebooks are sold. So I would probably go to Amazon and see what you think. Really not my thing. I'm not into horror stuff, but if it's your thing, give it a shot. There you go, gang. Another unboxing in the bag. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and follow me over on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Old Nerd Reviews and become a part of the Old Nerd Crony community. Uh -huh. You can also find me over the website oldnerdreviews.com and over at the other channel, Old Nerd Gamer. You guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll see you again. Bye now.